Several European countries announcing their first coronavirus cases tonight. Jonathan Sacerdoti is in London with that part of the story for us. And Jonathan, more cases of the virus have reached Europe. Bring us up to date on today's developments, where you are and across the continent. Well, today, Estonia and Denmark confirmed their first cases of the virus, and that brings the number of countries in Europe with known cases to 15. Here in the UK, three new cases were confirmed today, two in England and one in Northern Ireland. A school in Buxton was closed today when a parent of one of the pupils there was confirmed to have contracted COVID-19 after visiting Tenerife. That school is now being deep cleaned and won't reopen until Monday. And the nearby medical practice was also closed as a result of this infected patient. Uh, the second new patient in England was transferred to the Royal Free Hospital here in London. Uh, the authorities will now be trying to work out who had contact with those patients and where they had that contact. England's chief medical officer today said that if the outbreak continues to get worse, it might be necessary to introduce new measures to try to contain it. It could include school closures, which he said could last for two months or more if the outbreak gets worse. Uh, the special measures won't necessarily be brief and their wider impact will therefore, he said, be felt across society and the economy. And, and Jonathan, there have been uh, s some concerns about the possibility of coronavirus reaching the Vatican. What's been happening there? Well, Vatican officials have refused to comment on whether Pope Francis has been tested for coronavirus or mm. not. The Pope was not present at a planned mass for the start of Lent, owing to what a Vatican spokesman, Matteo Bruni, called a light disposition. Uh, the Pope had been seen coughing and blowing his nose during Ash Wednesday celebrations, where he greeted people without a mask. According to the Pope's biographer, he is in fact missing part of one of his lungs, which was removed when he was in his 20s in his native Buenos Aires uh. after he suffered from tuberculosis there. Jonathan Sacerdoti with the latest for us from London in Europe tonight. Thank you, Jonathan.